Hi, I'm Clara. Today's video is not about the laser cutting machine. It's the common problems that happened to the handheld laser welding machine. I will list three conditions which probably are the most common in handheld laser welding machine. So if you have a welder or going to have a welder, please take 10 minutes to get through this video. It will help you a lot. Please subscribe to this channel and give me a like. If you are new here, I will not let you down. All videos on industry lasers. I notice here the problems I gathered today is from Super Laser Technology Co Limited. You can find their website below in the description. So if your welding head is not Super Laser brand, please take reference of the content. There will be differences in sighting and design. First, let's see a video first. When click welding button, there will be obvious sparks and the nozzle, and in welding process, the laser intensity will gradually decrease, and finally, there will be no laser. If we encounter this condition, probably the lens is damaged. The lenses here are not limited to protective lens, but may involve focusing, collimating, reflectors, etc and one or more of those damages may cause this situation to occur. Now we need to stop and check all lenses. If there's lens damage, replace it. And it's also necessary to check the fiber end, whether it's clean and fine. What are the reasons for this problem? It could be the contaminants when replacing the lenses, which will be shown in black dots or the reflection, which will be white dots, or is caused by interference. In this case, the ceiling ring will usually also be damaged. What should we do to avoid this problem? Several rules we could follow against it. Number one, pay attention to the surrounding air when replacing lens. No wind, no oil, and no waste. Number two, when welding, especially for high reflection materials, try not to light the welding head be perpendicular to the welding plate. Number three, replacing the damaged protective lens in time. Number four, the P wear should be grounded against obstruction. Second, is the burned protective lens. There will be black or white dots on protective lens. It could be caused by the contaminants when replacing the lens, which will be shown in black dots, or the reflection, which will be white dots. The reflection could be caused by improper parameters, welding method, or materials. What should we do to reduce the protective lens damage? Number one, properly increase the air pressure. Under normal circumstances, the gas flow should not be less than 15 and the pressure should not be less than 4. Number 2. When welding, we should try to make the welding gun and the welding plate form a 45 degree angle, not perpendicular to the plate. Number 3. When setting parameters, Try to give slow rise and fall as much as possible. For example, we can set the on-off gas delay to 200 to 500 ms, the on-off light power to 20%, and the light on-off gradual time to 200 to 300 ms. It's strongly recommended not to set it to zero. Number four, when welding aluminum or galvanized sheet, it's easier to damage the protective lens than other materials. So my suggestion is to use the minimum power for those materials. Number five, for example, a 2000 watt welding machine can bear with 1000 watt power. We use full power 2000 watt for welding 
and the protective lens will be more easily worn out, which is inevitable. Third, the nozzle is burned. If welding, there is heat transported to the nozzle and get it burned. We need to find the heat source first. Number one, is the right light in the very center, like the laser cutting machine. If the right light is not in the center, the laser beam will emit to the nozzle directly and get it burned. Number two, is the scanning wipe set properly? For welding, the height supports maximum of 5, and normally we will set it to 3. Number 3. Is the focus at 0? Improper focus will lead to change of the laser spot. If it's larger than the nozzle aperture, the laser spot will hit the nozzle directly, resulting in damage to the nozzle. Number 4. Is the protective lens fine? We need to confirm whether the protective lens is okay. If it's damaged, the nozzle will get heated. Number five, is the materials high reflective? Highly reflective materials may cause nozzles to heat up due to thermal conductivity and reflection. Number six, has the thickness of the welding material exceeded to the capability of the machine? For example, with a 2000 watt welding machine, we need to weld a 10 mm carbon steel plate. If the welding continues with non stop, the heat cannot be cooled in time and the heat will be directly introduced into the nozzle, causing damage to the nozzle. Number seven, are the parameters set properly? For example, the swelling speed will decrease with the thickness of the welding materials increase. If we use the welding parameters of 1 mm to weld 6 mm plate, the nozzle and accessories will definitely be damaged to a certain extent. Today I conclude three problems that happen most in handheld laser welding machine. Have you ever met problems with your welder? Please leave them in the comment below. We could learn together and share the experience. Thank you for watching. I will meet you guys next Sunday here at 10 p.m. Bye.